Hey guys, Joel here, and welcome back to another episode. And today, I like playing a little bit of Star Ocean and everything. So um, hopefully it's not too loud or whatever. I just feel like playing some Star Ocean, mainly because I am going to be getting it back soon. <laughs> and everything, the physical version, because I'm playing this right now on my PlayStation Classic and everything that I had downloaded a while back and everything like that. So I, I don't know, I was just looking through a lot of my games and everything on the PlayStation Classic. Like, you know what, let me play this one, you know? Play, um, this a little short play. These are short plays. Not gonna be doing a let's play on this because it's gonna be a long game if I ever do it. Maybe in the future, yes, I would do it and everything like that. But I just feel like playing it, you know. And um, I have it in my cart right now on eBay. Have it, um, like in my cart on eBay. Um, waiting until I, I I buy it, until I order it and everything. So yeah. So um, I'm like you know, I play a little bit of this right now. I feel like playing it, you know, do a short play on it and all that good stuff, you know. So have some fun. Uh, surround. You can experience surround sound if you have four. Oh, all right. So let's do stereo vibration on. All right, Claude Kenny <laughs> and Reina Reina uh, Landford, son of Earth Federation Army hero Renoxus J Kenny. Claude has his, his doubts, but he still attends the Federation Academy. A typical 19-year-old, his his major for now is basic combat arts. Creative and a dreamer, Reina is a happy-go-lucky 17-year-old girl. She excels at the she excels at the physical arts. It has a mysterious healing power. She lives in Arlia, in the southern region of Pan Expel. So you're gonna go with him. So he's 19 and she's 17. I keep his name. Standard? I remember this stuff. Uh, that's like combat mode. Targeting is manual. Semi-auto, fully auto in it. So they, no, I rather standard. You wait. Camera work standard, leader base. Combat mode for more action, recommended for players who takes more freedom movement initiative. Standard, recommended for players new to JRPG, I mean, yeah, RPGs, or players with little action game experience? No, definitely not me. But, I guess I'll just put semi-active. What's this one? Mode for full use of freedom, no target control, check screen for square. Uh, just semi-active. Only the vast reaches of outer space can hold the myriad dreams of 10 billion people and still show them its infinite possibilities. I don't remember having voiceover. Countless Maybe I have a different version <laughs> that downloaded. Of space. But of course, some of them are nightmares. Turn it up. Not too loud, right? All right, it's good. Let's watch this first before I um, talk. <laughs> I wanted to talk about something real quick. In the space year 342, aboard the battleship Karnas, he led our forces to victory in the battle against Rizonia and received the Medal of Valor. In the space year 345, he solved the mystery of the virus outbreak on the undeveloped frontier planet Rope. Oh, I remember this from the first the one, um, the first departure. In the of I don't know which version is that dollar. It's not the same one I remember. It doesn't show this. In recognition of his meritorious service, he was promoted to Admiral at the unprecedented young age of 38. He was my father, and no one respected him more than me. I also knew that he held a fine position as an officer in the Earth Federation. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me, um, turn this a little bit. Right here. Earth Federation. And now I am here. And <laughs> now I am here. All right, Claude. Planet Melo Melo Senior Senior Senior. Oh, by the way, this is Star Ocean. All right, second story. Like. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not, I have no, I already, I remember I spoke about it while I was interested in getting that remastered version it came out with, um, well not remastered, remake, and it came out with recent, oh damn, I lot. so yeah, so I want everything to stay intact the way it is, I don't like the style of what they changed it with Square Enix. Well, any results different, any results different from the pre-landing survey? No, there continues to be no apparent response at any frequency, the field itself seems similar to ma magnetic energy. But his characteristics are still unclear. Hmm. Does this mean that is that it is absorbing the waves generated by the sensor? 
try spec spectral analysis of magnetic waves emitted by the field. Claude, you've made it. You've made it to ens Ensign. If there's any reason to have to defend yourself, use this. Deadly weapon, <laughs> damn. Deadly weapon, phase gun, armed and ready. What's wrong? Nervous? Um, no, that's not it. Ha ha ha, Claude, you're an ensign now. You need to be bolder than, bolder than that. Well, um, that's not really it. Listen, this phase gun will shoot when you press the L button during a battle. If a battle starts, use it, okay? <laughs> All right. Commodore, it's no use. Nothing in the database matches it. Nothing, eh? All right, then we'll just have to get closer. Ah, look at that. <laughs> the hell is that thing? I just love this game, man. It's one of my favorite, favorite JRPG. I know I mentioned it plenty of times already on here. And um, for you new subscribers, by the way, oh, let me just talk about that real quick before I continue. Yeah, <laughs> I was not, I'm shocked. I was not expecting that much views for that PS3 collection that I did a few days ago. Almost a thousand views, you know, only a couple of days and everything. Like, wow, I was shocked when I seen that. <laughs> I was shocked. I was getting comments left and right, uh, tons of new subscribers and everything, and like and a lot of likes as well. So I definitely appreciate that, guys. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Like, I wasn't expecting that and everything. I had a feeling that I was gonna get a lot of views when I did that collection because about time I finally did it after so long. I would say I was gonna do it, I never did. But I wasn't expecting that, you know. So that's like, wow. Yeah, man. Almost 900 views already. Getting to a thousand, everything like that. I wasn't expecting that at all, but you know. I didn't think anything of it, you know, I wasn't thinking it was going to be that big, you know, of a deal and everything like that. So I, I'm really happy for that, guys, and everything. And thank you. Um, thank you to all you new subscribers and everything that subscribe to my channel and everything. You guys are new here. <laughs> so, you know, you guys don't really know my, I guess you could say, my way of doing things here on YouTube. And it's very different from a lot of YouTubers out there. And, um, and I'm more like blunt, straight up with things, too. <laughs> so just let you guys know from now. You know, some people might not like that, but that's just who I am. So, yeah. But um, for you guys, this is the type of games I like to play. I like a lot of retro games. You know, if you're new subscribers, I'm talking about. Um, I like retro games a lot. I also do less plays here and there on it, on this channel. Uh, right now, this is a short play, not my full let's play because it's a long ass game. So it's gonna be a lot of parts if I was ever to do the full let's play on this. Like I said, I'll do it. I wouldn't mind doing it in the future. So yeah. So do that. Do reviews. Um. Rants I do as well, everything like that. You guys love my rants and the pick up videos I do, collection videos, all that stuff I do on here and stuff like that. So, yes, yeah, so I'm big on retro stuff. I love my retro games and everything like that. And um, yeah, so just feel like playing this, like I said, because Trip Down Memory Lane is one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. And I am going to be getting back the, um, the, the official game and everything like that, I should say, the physical version, you know, very soon for the, for the also on the PS1, you know, like I said, I'm not interested in the, re the remake. I'd rather get spending my money and get this one back instead of getting that one. Like I said, I don't trust Square Enix or nothing nowadays. <laughs> I don't really like the company anymore, but I like when it was Squaresoft, you know, <laughs> but this game was just Enix. This was made by Enix, you know, that was before the merge and everything like that. Anyway, so let's continue on. This one, just quickly talk about that real quick about the PS3 collection video and also you know for you new subscribers and stuff like that the way how i do things here stuff like that you know so if you guys like it you like it, you know <laughs> stick around you know but yeah so who would build such a thing and why what is going on i guess we'll just have to look around the domes the domes entrance good idea everyone everyone case the area case there <laughs> like what You know, another game I was thinking about going back to doing Skies of Acadia. I haven't played that one in a while. Safety is the first priority. Be careful. Oh, I can move now. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done that one in a while. I actually was watching one of the videos earlier. I was like, oh, I need to continue playing. I think I did like six parts already. Skies of Acadia Legends. But the thing is, the reason why I stopped is because, um, what's it? Issues with the emulator that I have, the GameCube emulator on the Wii and stuff like that so i'm waiting until i get the game back the actual game which is kind of pricey on ebay but i'm willing to do it because one of my favorite games of all time one of my favorite jrpgs i should say and everything like that you know 
Um, so much nostalgia with that game playing when I was younger, so I want to get it back in my collection. I see people on eBay selling for like 130 and up or whatever like that, so I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> we'll save up and I'm going to do it. We'll get it. And then after that, I can continue doing my, um, doing that. Let's play on that. Because the emulator kept messing up and shutting off. I don't want to keep, uh, have, you know, keep happening while I'm in the game. It just freezes and stuff like that because then it messes up, you know, the let's play. <laughs> and also messes up, like, it pisses me off because if I'm in a dungeon and it happens, like, damn. <laughs> Ensign Kenny, why? What else is Ensign? Why, why such a huge dome? Can we open it? Can I check my inventory? Oh, triangle. Claw. <laughs> Oh, to the combat. Strategy. Attack with on. I always like to put on do nothing because since I'm the one that controls him. So that's the reason why I do that. Uh, none of these things you have to worry about because there's no one else with us right now. Uh, message speed? Let's speed up a little bit. Yeah, two is good. Do it on two. I usually like to put on like a one or two. I used to keep, I like to usually like to keep it on. Uh, window color is fine. Yeah, this is what he was talking about. Yeah, I think I always have it on semi-auto. I think I always had it on that. Uh, Leader-centered, yes, because I'm only care about what I'm doing, the person I'm controlling, not what everyone else is doing. Wait, wait, what's this about? Combat motion mode? A squirt only? Yeah, let me keep it on that. I don't know what that means. I think that means like when we're in a battle, instead of um, holding square and the directional pad to move around freely, you can just press that, I think. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on that. Cause face favorite food unknown. Oh, you can change. Oh, you can still change his name. I didn't know that. All right. I know you can change that at any moment. That's cool. Guess I didn't remember that. Skills, equipment. So with that gun, you you told us about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No items. No special. Oh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Face gun. A laser gun used by the Federal Army destroys objects at molecular level. At a molecular level. Might there be some way to open the door? Yeah, I see it right there, but I just wanted to talk to these guys. It must be a switch or a sensor. So, all right, fine, all right? Because that's what you guys want me to do. <laughs> Everyone's saying it. Like, he's like, shut up. Just press the button already. Continue. Dad, I mean, Commodore. What is it, Claude? There's something, there's something here. There appears to be some kind of control device. It may have something to do with the door to the dome. Good work, Claude. How about it? Can you determine what this panel is for? With some time, I may be able to... Able to what? <laughs> I'll spit it out. Like the sound when you hear something's healing, <laughs> when it's healing somebody. There, it opened. Ooh, we got it. Open sesame. Let's go in. <laughs> what does it look like inside? How about we go in and check? It does not seem to be any kind of sensor at the entrance. We'll just have to explore. Yeah, of course. All right then, we'll investigate the interior. We have no idea what about what lies ahead. Each member must take all possible precautions. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know, Ronix. <laughs> Let's go inside. Yeah, he was the main character for the first departure and everything, which was a really good game. Really, really good game. And um, I have yet to talk about it. Did I? Actually, no, I never, yeah, I never um, talked about that one on this channel. And sign, and sign, this is my duty area. I mean, this is my duty area. Please find another. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I never spoke about it yet on this channel. Save. Oh. Alright. It looks different though. Like, I want to know if this is like a different version I downloaded or something. Or was it like a hack version or something? I don't think they. I don't know. I don't think they ever had hacks hack for so I don't know. <laughs> the face gun will shoot when the L button is pressed. We're counting on you to use it if the time comes. Alright, alright, I know. We got to keep mentioning this stuff to me. Damn, look at it. I love this guy. <laughs> I just love it. Looks so good. 
I don't know why they would change this in the remake, but I just like how the style of this looks, you know? Not really a fan of that 2D crap, 2D, 3D crap anymore, whatever. 3D, what was it called? 3D HG 2.5, whatever it's called. <laughs> that all the games they've been doing lately has, like, um, Octopath Travelers games. I wasn't a fan of it. Like, I like it like this. <laughs> Who made it? And for what? I don't know. Are you asking me? How in heaven does that device function? I'm going to find out. Claude, stop being so reckless. Wait till we find out what that device is. <laughs> Damn. It's all right. There's no need to worry. We have no idea what that device is. Stay clear. Claude, come back now. Do not approach that device. <laughs> do not, I mean, do not approach that device yet. <laughs> and you still walking away. Claude. <laughs> I don't care how old you are. I'll give you 19. What's the belt? <laughs> Like, listen, to your father. <laughs> we'll get nothing done if we keep fretting, fretting, yeah, fretting like this. I mean, yeah, he makes a point, but still, like, you don't know what this stuff is. What this alien tech is. Hmm. It's true that that I mean, it's true that dangerous things often look like nothing special. Okay. <laughs> beep beep beep. <laughs> Coordinates two one four. Whatever. One gate open. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I do remember this part. <laughs> you look. Hey, what the? Ah! Oh, my God. What's happening? <laughs> you look. <laughs> His hair and everything. He was like this. <laughs> look, his arms are. Oh, my God. What the hell? He teleported us. He, I mean, oh, he, he disappeared. Claude. My God. Commodore. It's all my fault. Well, why yell his name for? I guess he wanted to stay back or something. To be dangerous. Oh my God. What the hell happened, God? Where the hell do we go? What happened? Oh my God. <laughs> ah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, oh, <laughs> let me go like, oh, you know, like you just waking up like I'm hurt. <laughs> but that doesn't really sound like he's hurt. <laughs> what the? That's it. I was exploring Mil Milosina, how do you say, Milosina. And then I was surrounded by the light and... And look at the graphics and the music, man. Like, uh, what is this place? Just love it. Father! Where's everyone? Oh, that's it. My my communicator. <laughs> I love the music, man. This is so good, so good. For any of you guys that got the remake, by the way, let me know. Is it did they change the music or did they keep everything intact when it comes to that stuff? I'm, I'm just curious to know. You know, like what do you guys what do you guys thought of that remake? You know, but like I said, I'm not interested in it. It's no use. I get no response. Man, it sounds so good, like it is... <laughs> Oh darn, I must have been beamed somewhere. There's no point in just sitting here. I'm to figure out I I mean I have to, I'm sorry. I have to figure out where I am. And this is so beautiful. Judging by the look of the of the place, this might be this might be an underdeveloped planet. I wonder where the heck I've gotten to. Yeah, no. Oh. See something. Someone's there. Huh? <laughs> I was Raina. Look out behind you. What? <laughs> oh my god. I've got to help her. Oh, oh okay, I'm gonna move that. Oh, it's too good. Screw that hole. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go help her. Oh yeah, I forgot that thing. You what? Oh. Ooh, oh damn, I threw it out. Ooh. 
Yeah, imagine you're starting the game, you take with that much damage. Ooh, damn. That's 304. Ooh, level up. I think. <laughs> oh, four, foil, I think it's called foil. Eight, four. <laughs> I would say four. Ooh, I made it just in time. Oh no, not now I've done it. <laughs> I used a phase gun without thinking. Rats, that was careless. I might be busted on the undeveloped planet protection treaty. But that was the only way to save her. It couldn't be helped. Um, I Are you alright? That was a close that was a close shave. Now there's something I wanna ask you. <laughs> oh there. Should I get away from me? <laughs> you creep? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. She's gone. Hey, look at this, man. This is so good. Like, like I said, I don't know why they changed the remake. I like it like this. This looks, looks good. And the music, man. Like, like I think like, I believe every um, what's it, every track in this game I like. Like, I don't think any of them sounded bad. They all sound good. But this is like one my this is like my favorite one, honestly. Like, I love it. Like, <laughs> this is so good, guys. Love it. Look at this place. This this beautiful. Like. PS1 games, like, man, like, there's something about their games, like, the way that the, the style of the art style and everything, of the scenery and everything is just special, you know? There's something about it that can't be, like, imitated, you know? <laughs> can't be Im imitated to this day, you know, replicated and stuff like that. Like, it's just so good. Come back here. Oh, why did she run then? <laughs> nah, you want to confront me? <laughs> I'm glad you waited for me. Sorry about running off like that. You bet. <laughs> I'll do it again, alright? <laughs> just get it. It's okay. Um, it's just that I was so surprised. It happened all of us. I mean, it happened so suddenly. It all happened so suddenly. I see. Were you afraid? Of course you were. Why would you act that? <laughs> well, maybe a little, but I'm really sorry about that. After you had saved me and, and all. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And you did wait up for me after all. Gosh, I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Reyna. Reyna Landfor. <laughs> Me, I'm Claude. Claude Kenny. Pleased to meet you. Is it Clint Kenny or Ken Ken I? Kenny, I think it is. I'm called Kenny. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Claude, you were going to say something back then. Back then, yeah. Oh yeah, when you ran off. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's nothing really, but Where are we? <laughs> She's like, huh? You mean where are we? Guess he has to make up some lie or something, like why he don't remember. Oh, look at this! Look at that! Oh, you a traveler? Um, yeah, well, something like that. Where do you come from? I'm from Earth. <laughs> Earth. <laughs> Earth. <laughs> where exactly is that? <laughs> I guess she wouldn't know, of course. But look at this. This is nice. This is like one of the um, yeah. This is the first time they actually showed with that remake and everything. When I saw the pictures, but I don't like how they how it looked. Like this is the way it should have stayed and everything. Like this, this remaster it and just leave it alone or whatever. You know, it would have been good. I guess in a way they did kind of have a remaster when that the one that came out, Second Evolution, on the um PSP. Yeah, it was on the PSP. I guess that was like a remaster in a way. <laughs> but yeah, but um. I don't really remember much. I think I had played it back then on the um, PlayStation TV since I have it modded, so I have the um, PSP emulator on there. I just don't really remember much of that game, honestly. So I can't really say. <laughs> it's been a long time. But yeah, but I think I have played it. I don't think I beat it, though. I guess you wouldn't know, of course. Well, hmm. How should I put it? I know it's... I mean, I mean, I know it's a place far away from here. I think it's really, really far away. <laughs> I like that with the... Uh, I forgot what they call those things, the water wheel, whatever thing. I forgot the name of it. It's so nice, like, I just love this game. Such a good game. A faraway place? Me, I've never left this continent. Wow. Do you mean somewhere on the other side of the continent of L? Well, um, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta, can't let her know. <laughs> That's quite a trip. Sucks, man. You only been here? Like, come on. Remind me of people here. <laughs> New York City, only been here, not say don't travel. <laughs> Mr. Claude, across the bridge here is is Arlia. Or Arlia. I think it's Arlia. <laughs> so this is the village where you live? But is it okay for me to barge in like this without notice? 
sorry about it. I want to thank you for, for formally, thank you formally for saving me. You need to bother with that. I really didn't do anything. Yes, you did. We talk about <laughs> tea. Anyway, don't worry about it. We can't do much entertaining any entertain anywhere. I think she what she meant by that. But ah, oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at the moon like that. That's cool. Man, <laughs> so we're gonna be playing this game again. You know, <laughs> we're gonna be playing this again. Welcome to Alia. Yeah, it's so, it's so beautiful. I haven't smelled such clean air in a long time. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> is there any other? Is there any un other kind? <laughs> yes, the air where I used to live was very dirty. <laughs> Say that again. Is that so? That is terrible. Maybe so. I feel really good. <laughs> the air is not going anywhere. So breathe as much as you like. <laughs> Mr. Claude, I need to go home first. Why don't you just walk around the village for a while? Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, run, girl, run. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Alright, whatever. Go, go. Let me... Let's go in. This is just terrible. I must find some means of getting back. I will start by asking the people in this village some questions. Arlia Village. <laughs> yeah, it's all interrogating everybody. But look at this, man. So beautiful. He gets to breathe in a nice fresh air and stuff like that. Like, imagine being able to do something like that. You know, go to a different planet where it's like, you know, I deal with the shit here. You know, <laughs> everything is back in time. And, you know, like, that's what I wish. <laughs> you know, there are some some countries that are similar to that, I guess you could say it. Like how they say it's underdeveloped. Pretty much like third world, you know. <laughs> that's how it would be with countries and stuff in real life. Which to me, I see some positives to it, you know. But yeah, this place is Arlia. Don't you even know that? <laughs> okay, whatever, old man. So rude. Cross Castle slash Salva and Shingle Park. Okay, that's that was the name of it. We like um, examine things, or I don't really remember. No, oh, Belding Church. All right. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna repent for our sins. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You are wearing such weird clothes. Where did you buy them? <laughs> Earth? <laughs> Where's that? I mean, where's that shop? <laughs> That's funny. The priest said that the warrior will come soon. Okay. <laughs> ah, you are a traveler. I hear, I hear rumors of many demons appearing along the roads. To be traveling at such a time, you must have a reason to take risks. May God's divine protection be upon you. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to need it. <laughs> Give me all the blessings. <laughs> I can get. Look at, that, look at the water. This is so beautiful. Yeah, I love this, man. Oh, I oh. <laughs> like that. The birds flying by. Yeah, it's really nice. Melosinia? Melos, 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 Melosinia? Melosinia? Never heard of it. This is Arlia, a village on the south tip, uh, tip of the continent. House. <laughs> this house. Alright, I got a couple in here. <laughs> Got a head of a couple of it. <laughs> husband, husband. Bro, are you okay in the earthquake? Earthquakes don't bother me, but I can't stand lightning. Was the earthquake here? I hate earthquakes. There are so many earthquakes lately. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Then, then move then. <laughs> move somewhere else where it's not common. You know? Oh. Open these. The <laughs> rose hips acquired. Like how we just came in here with just like taking shit. <laughs> Blueberry acquired. Just taking things out of the, the chest. Oh, this is so nice. Like, I just love the style of the game. Like, you just... The style reminds me of... The way it looks is kind of like how Final Fantasy VII looks as well. Like, I wonder what they call the style of, um... Like, engine or whatever you want to call it. Like, I would definitely love to make a game that looks like this. Honestly, I would love to. But, I don't know, like... I've seen people, like, indie devs that made, like, games that's similar to, like, how PS1 games looked. From the, you know, from this era, but they don't really look like how this looks. I don't think there's no way to like imitate it, like mimic it, because I think this engine was just unique, you know. And I guess there's no way to really, I don't know, like make games like this anymore. I guess then maybe this technology was lost. I mean, this engine was lost or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I would definitely love to, man. Definitely love to uh, make a game looking like this. This just looks so nice, like beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, let's check those items I just got. 
those hit. The fruit of the rose bush. It is very nutri nutri nutritive and heals 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 wounds. Special berry that that restores HP. Blueberry. What I also like about this game is they actually use real life things. You know, <laughs> I know rose hips because I've had um I've had like um certain like juices or whatever that has it in it and stuff like that. And I've tried like organic um stuff that had it and everything, which I'm not really a fan of organic. I feel like it's like overrated <laughs> and. Organic it just means expensive. They can just charge you, you know, crazy amounts and stuff for it. I just prefer natural. Natural's good enough. <laughs> hundred percent natural. But yeah, but I have tried things that had rose hip in it. Stuff like that. Which I think is um does it say? Let me see. It is only says nutritious, nutritive or whatever, but I think it has vitamin C. Rose hip is like a form of vitamin C if I'm not mistaken. Lucia, a spaceship? <laughs> What's that? Is it something to eat? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I better not leave the village right right now. She said that she would come back. I mean, she said that she would come back. I still might be. I still might get more information here. All right, just wanted to see what you would say. <laughs> to East Alia. Is this the only things we could examine? <laughs> Ooh, look at these. 200 fold, okay. This is just like laying here, just sliding around. <laughs> Why well, no one else opened it? Took the leather armor required. Equipment. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that thing. Let me take that off. Resurrection bottle required. I don't like that on. It automatically equips whatever you get. How do you do that? How do you take that off? Go back. I don't know why I did that. I'm trying to press circle to go back and it was like stuck on. That's weird. All of a sudden the buttons like changed or whatever. Is there... <laughs> why is it doing that? I don't know what the hell is going on. All right, something's wrong. Something's wrong with my controller. I'm out there. Just <laughs> give me a minute, guys. I don't know why it's acting up. Uh, it's like all the buttons I was pressing to go back, like circles, is just not registering now. <laughs> this is weird. Right, guys, I don't know what happened. Like, <laughs> I can't get this thing to change. Like, um, the the control layout for some reason it just changed on its own. Now all the buttons are different now. Now it's circle to get in here, and R two to go back, and R two is a run now. Like, <laughs> that was so weird. Whatever, I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna play like this. This is why I don't like emulators. This is why I can't stand emulators sometimes. Like, those some nonsense with this crap. Like, they just start messing up. They like, you know, doing shit on their own. But I can't wait to get the official game. <laughs> General Store, I mean, General, oh, I don't know, I read it like that. <laughs> what is that? General Store Her 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 Herons of a, I don't know what the hell that says. <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong thing. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> they got the vegetables here and everything. I don't even know what the hell it is. I can't even see it. <laughs> can't even make it out. But yeah. Alright, so how do I talk to people now then? Oh, triangle now? <laughs> May I help you? You can find almost anything you want at Mr. Hearn's. I guess it's Hearn's. Hearn's store. What can I get you, sir? A, a sp spaceship? What is that? We don't sell such gibberish. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright, anything. Oh, okay. Machine, <laughs> machine. What is that? A thing that moves by itself? Does that have something to do with the heraldy art? If so, then talk to a master of heraldy. Or heraldy, how do you say it? <laughs> yeah. Trying to fix my um shirt because <laughs> I got this V-duck shirt on. It makes me it's like I have nothing on <laughs> under my um hoodie. What? Um, I don't understand. <laughs> Raina just hurried home, flustered. I wonder what happened. Can I see my oh, I can. There we go. I can see my reflection. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is nice. Love this. I don't know why this this town. It kind of reminds me of um of that like where Ares lives in Final Fantasy VII. I don't know why it reminds me of of where she lives. So it kind of looks like this in a way. 
This is nice. Look at the boats over there. <laughs> what do you think? It's nice. Love it, man. House of Mayor Regis. <laughs> House of Mayor Regis. Check. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons, man. Hey, you got a nice house here. Yeah? This house. <laughs> cool. What's this like? Is this like a garden or something he has in his house? <laughs> okay. I live in good. <laughs> I live in large. The mayor is now is now out on business. He should be back in about an hour. Yeah, you got you got the maid too and everything. <laughs> got a piano. Yeah, you got a nice house. Oh look at this. And you got a balcony. Damn. <laughs> I got money. <laughs> Alright. A nice house, man. <laughs> Wish I lived there. <laughs> Better house than what I got right now. <laughs> I mean, the way I live, I should say. So where's where is he now? He is looking around the village. <laughs> no, I guess <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Raina, uh, I mean, um, huh? Um, excuse me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Claude, what is what is the matter? I was just walking around the village and found my my way here. Of course, but you should but you surprised me. Was I interrupting something? <laughs> it was being it was, <laughs> it was uh, not being nosy. No, I'm It was talking about you, I'm talking shit about you. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> Mother, this is Mr. Claude, the one I was talking about. Oh, is this him? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Claude. I am Wester, Raina's mother. My daughter told me that you saved her when she was when she was in danger. Ah, shucks, <laughs> it was nothing. Certainly not. If you had come along a little later, it would have been tragic. I keep telling her it is too dangerous, so don't go to Shingle Forest. That girl doesn't listen. <laughs> Maybe she needs a weapon. <laughs> Get the belt for her. <laughs> oh, mom, cut it out. Raina, I'm just thinking about you. Mr. Claude, sorry to keep you waiting, but I'm finished here, so why don't I show you around the village? Okay, let's go. Bye, mom, I won't be long. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll be okay, fine. Take care. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. He just said it like that, like, you know, kind of random. <laughs> you supposed to say that from the beginning? <laughs> Sorry about that. Mother gets mother gets excited. Don't worry about it. She's just like my mom. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom's even worse. I'd like to show you. <laughs> Tee -hee, let's go. <laughs> she loved that word, I see. Oh, Reyna, who is your friend? I've never seen him around. His name is Mr. Claude. He said that he is in the middle of a journey. Is that so? I mean, is that so? Why, why, I mean, why? I thought he was a stranger. <laughs> like she was going back in my body. <laughs> I got out of the 587 when he walked into your body. This is the house of, of, of the mayor of Alia Village. He's a very smart man, but he doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I already know that because I was here already. Ah, Re Reyna. Regis has gone to Salivar. He will be back soon. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the next town. Reyna, you really like sh you really like the single forest, don't you? Take me along next time. Hey, I didn't check this house. <laughs> I don't miss this. The man in this house is a carpenter. He is now working on a big job in a neighboring town, so he's often gone for some time. So the two kids are home alone? <laughs> right? <laughs> he leaves the two kids home alone, really? What? Who takes care of them? I need to go to jail for that. <laughs> yes, I feel sorry for them. I come over and tell them stories as much as I can. So who cooks for them? Like That's nice to know about the stories, but who cooks? Who cleans up? Like, <laughs> who tells them not to mess with anything that could be you know, dangerous or whatever, hazardous or whatever. Like. You just come over and just tell them bad, I mean, stories or whatever, bedtime stories or whatever it is. 
Bro, you know, you really are nice, aren't you? They ain't that nice. Who's cooking for these damn kids? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Who's taking care of them while he's gone? Not really. <laughs> oh, stop it. House. Okay, this house. Oh, yeah, I forgot the button. Oh, my God. Strawberry Jam acquired. All right. Let's have a look at that real quick. A jam made of boiled down strawberry. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. It's another thing I liked about with this game when you can actually see the item and everything like that. And um, I do like the 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 what's it, the item curation um, feature in this game is really fun to do. Like I just love love making stuff and everything like that. I love this. Look at this. You know, it's just not text and you just read what the description of the item is. You actually see it. And I like how you actually see it. This like in 3D, just moving around or whatever like that. You know. Zoom, I mean, like spinning around, not zooming in now. Just spinning around everything. I love, I love this. Like, you got the strawberries in the front of it. <laughs> it's so cool. Like, see, like things like this, like little simple things like this is what I like, that I love about these old school JRPGs and stuff like that, which you don't see anymore in these games. Like, when was the last game you ever seen something like this? I can't even think of any. Like, none. <laughs> not at all, guys. Like, this is, these games back then was just like, <laughs> it was different. One of a kind. And uh, oh, the, re the resurrection bot on it, we, that's when the controls all of a sudden went haywire. All of a sudden, everything just changed um, the layout of the game. I mean, the, the buttons. This this magical medicine revives a fallen friend, <laughs> which we had in real life. I thought he'd go back again. Uh, he was circle, right? No, it wasn't. Uh, oh, yeah, R2. So dumb. <laughs> uh, let me change that thing into combat. Actually, I don't even care because. If I ever do a let's play on this, I'm gonna have to just play the. I'm definitely gonna do it when I get the game and everything. I have it out of my cart. Um, I don't think I told you guys yet yeah, that the price is not too much, too expensive. It's like, I think some going for like forty, forty-five dollars. Um, I'm trying to find one like, like it's in perfect, perfect condi condition. So that's the reason why I'm gonna spend a little bit more. Like, um, like how much I want it? Like fifty bucks or whatever like that. I don't mind spending it as long as I get it in perfect condition and stuff like that. But yeah, so I don't mind. I really can't believe these kids are living alone in this house. Can't believe it. <laughs> a little boy, little girl. Miss Raina! Is your dad off again to work today? Yes, he'll be gone for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks these kids are in the house by themselves alone. Two weeks. So who cooks for them? How do they eat? Like, who cleans? Like, you know... The house looks nice and like mint condition, like you know, <laughs> like it's very well tidy. But who, who leaves their kids alone for two weeks? And look at these kids; they look like they're like five years old, or whatever. Like this guy needs to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, screw him working for two weeks. He, like, what is he doing? What is he thinking? <laughs> but we'll be okay. I'll protect my little sister. I mean, that's the least. Like, I still want to know who cooks. Like, how do you guys eat? <laughs> yeah, we're all lonely. Big Brother is here. And Miss Raina plays with us. Will you tell us the story today? I'm sorry. I'm a little busy today. Next time, okay? <laughs> okay, next time. <laughs> feel bad for these kids, man. <sighs> oh, I keep the wrong button. I feel bad for these kids. Like, and the least she can do is just go over and tell them stories. Like, really? <laughs> Like really. Oh Raina, so you two have I mean so you two have found a <laughs> a boyfriend to walk with. Your mother is bound to be worried. What? <laughs> Nothing like that. Nothing like that. This is Mr. Hearn's general story. Yeah, I know I've been here already. <laughs> There's still lots of useful things. Something smells good. Ooh, what is it? That is the smell of her. Oh, so it's like something cooking. <laughs> herbs? Wait, you just gotta know herbs? You mean you're from Earth? You should know that. <laughs> yes, medicine that heals wounds, an absolute ne necessity for travel. Is that right? Herbs? I've never heard of them before. You've never heard of herbs? Even I'm shocked. <laughs> never. What the hell? You live on a rock in Earth or something? <laughs> It's amazing you made it this far without them. <laughs> that again. 
Hi, Reyna. Are you on it? Are you on an errand today? Oh, now I can actually um see what he got. Oh wait, oh wrong button. <laughs> Sandals. <laughs> Simple wooden clogs. Okay, look at <laughs> look at those. Wait, we can equip them too. <laughs> anyway, I just realized sandals. That's not sandals. Like high heels to me. <laughs> Why Claw could equip them as well? <laughs> we find out, Claw. We find out. Did you hide it? That's your secret life, huh? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> lavender. A shrub. A shrub in the family. Lev. Levias. Hey, whatever that means. <laughs> it soothes the spirit and acts as a tonic. It also heals wounds to a degree. Aqua berry, special berry that purifies the body of poison. Blackberry, special berry that restores MP. Spectacle, <laughs> a magical magnifying glass possessing, a, possessing the power to see all true, all true, true. Uh, I mean, it's only ten dollars, ten foil, foil. <laughs> so I get that. Uh, oh, then he's expensive. Yeah. Uh. You know, I, I'll just get some of these. Uh, like four. Yeah, should be good. Thank you. I didn't want to put on him. I was going to put on her. Like, <laughs> I'm mad this guy have on high heels that they call sandals. <laughs> Rain, I haven't seen Mr. Allen in a while. Will he be coming soon? You're right, I wonder what happened. Reyna, who is this Mr. Allen? He is a childhood playmate of mine. He's he's from the neighboring town. I mean, he's from a neighboring town. So that's it. <laughs> okay. Nice to know. What do you guys say about these, these two? <laughs> this is the house of a newlywed couple. They are so lovey-dovey that is embarrassing just watching them. Yeah. <laughs> Sad again. I see. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. I've been the same like, okay, it's cool. <laughs> That's nice. Wait, did I talk to her already? Oh, is that a, Oh, is that guy an acquaintance of yours, Reina? Your boyfriend? Ma just automatically, that's what everyone thinks. Like, you just can't be a friend. Oh no, he saved my life. It's nothing like that. <laughs> Tee hee, it was a joke. But you take it so seriously. You're so cute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, let's go, Mr. Claude. Yeah. That's everyone's joke, uh, apparently that's everyone's joke. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hi, Reyna. Am I you are a chipper today? <laughs> yeah, I want to hear you in your old words. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. I can only show you around the village. I actually want to go to the save. But whatever. I actually want to show you guys a little bit of the real map and then that would have been it. This is Alia's church. This is where they hold weddings in the village. The priest here is very earnest and it's always there for us when we need advice, advice or guidance. He sounds like a wonderful man. Of course, yeah, he should, of course he should be, right? Yes, we all depend on him. It's so unusual to see see you at church. I hope it doesn't snow. I hope it doesn't snow. <laughs> Wait, Ray, you don't go to church? You better go to church, girl. <laughs> Great, I want you to stay for today's sermon about the warrior. Sorry, but I have to show my friend around today. That's okay, I understand. Frequent swarms frequent swarms of earthquakes. But yeah, frequent swarms of earthquakes, animals turn into demons. God must be trying to tell us something. You two should pray you two should pray with us. It's only through prayer that we, we can know God's will. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like in real life. <laughs> A lot of crap going on now in the world. A lot of people don't believe. <laughs> don't believe in the Lord. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so, want anything? Try to stray from those things on this channel, anyways. Religious, po I mean, po politics, all that stuff. You know. Um. Yeah. So I think we have to go back to this. Yeah. yeah that's it. Oh, just realized the food on the table. Hello, mother, I'm home. <laughs> oh, Raina, that was quick, but good timing. I just now finished her per She made all... <laughs> How she made all that so quick? How did she make cake? 
I looks like a turkey or whatever in the middle. It looks like jello or something. That looks really good. <laughs> How did she make all of that and I'm out of time? Like, she was quick with it. Like, <laughs> oh no, there's a turkey. So what is that? It's like something else is there. Is that like ham or something? Meatloaf, maybe? Oh, preparation? She made a lot of. Who cut the cake already, though? <laughs> she was that hungry, she took a slice. How she made all that so fast, though? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, mom, what is this mounting of food for? <laughs> Doesn't it look good? I did my best to make it all. Yeah, and quick, too. <laughs> Mighty quick. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not talking about that. What is it? Won't you eat? I just wanted to fix something for Mr. Claude and gratitude for him save, saving you. But this much food? Like, <laughs> I can understand that. But don't you think it is a bit much? Yeah, there's a lot. Do you think so? Don't you know how don't you know how much young men eat? Mr. Claude, you must be hungry, right? Well, now that you now that you mention it. See? Young men have no problem eating this much. Mr. Claude, eat as much as you like. <laughs> uh okay. Oh mom. <laughs> oh man, this is this is hilarious. Loving it though. <laughs> Make sure. Oh. All right. <laughs> what is that? One hour later, I think it's it. I didn't see it. He <laughs> burns. I can't eat anymore. I'm finished. Or belch too. <laughs> You didn't have to clean your plate. Are you okay? Wait, so you guys really finished all that food? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm fine. I've got an eye and stomach. <laughs> okay, if that was me, I wouldn't be able to eat all that much. Just <laughs> that much food. Like, I would have been full already. That was like a buffet. <laughs> Probably this, this one plate would have been good. Maybe, maybe half of a second. That silly mother of mine made too much. <laughs> but it was really good. My mother couldn't make such good food. Oh, damn, all right. You complimented her mom? <laughs> Even if that's flattery, I'm still happy. I'm glad you liked it. I'll be downstairs helping mother clean up. You can relax upstairs for a while. <clears throat> Music is so soothing and everything, guys. <laughs> like, I love it. Playing this game over again, like, this makes me feel so sad. Like, <laughs> like oh my God. <laughs> Boy, am I full. Mom, I wonder how Mom is doing. There's really no need to worry, but... I must find a way to get back home. Alright, we will. We will, Mr. Claude. <laughs> that Raina, I wonder what's keeping her. It wasn't even that long, she just left. <laughs> Relax, boy. Yeah, look at this. They got a nice bedroom. Damn. Why they have two beds, though? Uh, okay. That's weird. Raina's room. So this is her room. I shouldn't be going into someone else's room without permission. You know, all of a sudden, right? We was in everyone else's house and taking this shit. All of a sudden, there's an issue with her room. <laughs> all of a sudden. But yeah, but her room is there. So is this, I guess this is the mom's room then. I mean, yeah, it would make sense because the mother and father. But actually, no, they wouldn't have separate beds. They would be sleeping together. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm here trying to do this thing like, like a detective. Like, what's going on here? Got a rocking chair over here. Then we have the two couches. I mean, the two chairs over here and everything. Damn. This village living large, I see. They got money. <laughs> got the money. They got the moolah. Oh, hi, Wester. I mean, oh, hi. <laughs> Say it like that. Oh, hi, Wester. Mr. Claude, I hope you like the food. Do you think I made too much? Not at all. I, it was really good. Thank you for dinner. Thank you for the dinner. Oh, really? You are quite welcome. Was it really good? <laughs> yes, really. Okay, why you keep asking me? <laughs> really, really? Yes, really, really. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I just wouldn't know what to do if the warrior didn't like my food. The warrior? The warrior? I mean, the warrior. <laughs> Ooh. Mother, I'm back. She just ran back downstairs. The warrior, what's this about? You guys, you guys really talking shit about me, I see, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, Raina, what have I done? What is, what is the matter? What is the matter, mother? 
Why are you so flustered? I did it. <laughs> you did what? I'm asking you what is the matter? <laughs> I said it. What did you say? The warrior. You said that? And what did Mr. Claus say? He didn't seem to really understand. Alright, let's go down there and see what the hell's going on. <laughs> what exactly is going on? Yeah. My thoughts exactly. What the hell are these people to it? That shit they've been talking about about you, huh? <laughs> Please just calm down. He does not yet understand the situation, right? It must be the mayor. <laughs> oh, Mr. Claude. That's why she made all that food for us. I mean for me. <laughs> Last night. Oh, is it still night? <laughs> so you well, it is an hour later, so I guess it's still night. <laughs> I mean, now it's like I should say. So you are Mr. Claude. Pleased to meet you. My name is Regis. I'm the mayor of this village. Yes, I'm. Yes, I am Claude. Yeah, they say nice to meet you, or whatever like that. Like, I was told that you saved Raina in the Shingle Forest. I'm very grateful. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> Raina told me that you were in the middle of a journey. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use such a grandiose word, but. So where are you traveling? The Kingdom of Cross? Or perhaps the continent of Lacor? <laughs> oh, well, I don't really... <laughs> you don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't know where you... You don't know where you are, or you... I mean, you don't know where you are, and you are not clear of your destination. I mean, on your destination. Quite a strange travel, I must say. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that you... You don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't know where you are. <laughs> At the risk of being rude, I must say that you are lying, Mr. Claude. Oh, damn. He is. You are no simple traveler. <laughs> Uh-oh. Catching on to us. If I'm no traveler, then who am I? A man from another world. The warrior of legend. You are merely disguised yourself as a traveler to spy upon the world. Am I wrong? Are you not the warrior who has come to save us? They kind of got it right with me being for different roles. But <laughs> what? Hang on, just a, just a minute here. On what grounds do you say that? As for the grounds, I can cite our local legends which have been passed down through the, through the ages. They say when this land expellers is threatened with a menin, menace and the people are suffering, a warrior wearing alien re ram remnants <laughs> shall appear. He shall carry a sword of light and save the people. You, you wear alien remnants and carry a sort of light. Do we need further proof? Sort of light. I don't have anything like that sort of light. Yeah, what are you talking about? But when you saved me, you used a weapon that shoots out a dazzling beam of light, didn't you? Oh yeah, the gun, the phase gun. You think that's a sword? Well, that was... <laughs> Might this be a different person? No, he's the same person. Hmm. I understand about the sort of light. It is not exactly a sort of light, but I do have, I do have such a weapon. But that does not make me some sort of warrior. This must be some sort of mistake. How do you say such a thing? Because I am really not the warrior. I have no such power in the first place. I don't really, I mean, in the first place, I don't really know what is happening. And for you to, I mean, for you to suddenly ask me to help you, damn. <laughs> You really don't know about the sorcery globe and about the disasters? They are not occurring in this village. Disasters, I mean, they are not occurring in this village. Disasters are occurring throughout the world. Okay, so this village has been safe. <laughs> you really do not know? I see. Let me explain. Oh, hey, nice story time for Mr. Old Man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It started three months ago. All right, the music stopped. <laughs> time for story time. <laughs> story time. On another continent located to the northwest of this village is a continent, I mean, is a country called the Kingdom of El. One day, a meteorite suddenly landed in the village of Eloria, one of the, do one of the domains of the Kingdom of El. At first, there was there was merely a fuss about it being an unusual meteorite, but soon, eventually, you, unusual occurrences began to happen. 
The previously, the previously peaceful kingdom of El began to be suddenly plagued by many groups of demons, which became violent. Nothing like this has ever happened before. That is until that meteorite fell. So do you think it's a strange boot? Strange, do you think it's strange to believe that there is some connection? I mean, it must be. I mean, since it fell, that happened. We came to call the falling meteorite the sorcery globe or stone of sorcery. No matter how I think about it, I can only assume that this stone is the source of all the misfortune. Okay, so makes sense what's going on. <laughs> Sorcery globe fell to the ground suddenly, and now you appear suddenly. If that meteorite is the source of all the misfortune, then we felt that you are the one who, the only one who could put an end to it and enter them. But I, disasters are occurring even now throughout the world. Earthquakes swarms the likes, earthquakes swarm the likes of um, which we have never seen. Animals turning into demons. Someday these misfortunes will fall upon this village also. And crazy so so far they've been they've been good they've been safe over here but who knows for how long <laughs> but i i have no such power i would have no chance against a meteorite that is able to cause such a misfortune so where exactly do you come from and where are you going that i cannot ex ex easily explain even if i were to explain i doubt you would understand the one thing i can say is that i did not come here of my own will but rather i came here by accident You are being so vague that I have trouble understanding. Yet, that is all I can say. <laughs> you just want to tell them. <laughs> I see. Since you deny it so forcefully, what you say must be the truth. So I see that you really are not, really are not the warrior. So you really are not the warrior. No! <laughs> okay. I mean, to her. I'm sorry, I know that this must be a disappointment to you. Yes, but it, it was our misunderstanding. This is not something that you need worry about. I'm sorry about that. Raina! <laughs> What's she mad for? <laughs> She's a drama queen. <laughs> Please leave her alone for a while. She must, she must have believed that you really were the warrior. She will calm down pretty soon. Yeah, leave her alone. <laughs> Raina. Mr. Claude, I have one request of you. In the future, please avoid any action which may be misunderstood. I'm talking about your sword of light. As I explained earlier, the people's hearts are filled with uncertainty due to the sorcery growth. At such a time, there may be people who confuse reality with legend. It is not unreasonable to expect them to want to cling to hope, like Raina. If the hope can never if the hope can never come true, then it's best not held in the first place. Please do as I ask. I understand. I will be more careful. So, Mr. Claw, what do you intend to do from now on? To be honest, I'm not sure. I want to look around and see if I can at least find some clues. If if that is so, then why don't you stay for a while in this village? You may find out something here. If you need a place to sleep, you can stay at my house. I wouldn't want to impose. <laughs> it's not like me. It is not a it's not an imposition. I I mean it is, it is no imposition. I have caused you much imposition myself. I mean, yeah, makes a point there. <laughs> well, if you say so, then I will take you up on your on your offer. All right, you get to stay at the mayor's house. <laughs> nice big house that he has. All of the music too, the theme where you go to sleep and everything. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. The mayor's downstairs. Alright, get out of my way. <laughs> thank you, <a> sweet time. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Oh, you finally woke up. Oh, I said that. I didn't realize it. <laughs> yes, I slept well. I slept like a baby. <laughs> that is good. Now, Mr. Claude, if you cannot find out what you want in this village, try going to the town of Salva, north of Ar Arlia. It's a mining town. Many people from throughout the continent travel there. You may, you may hear something useful there. Thank you for everything. Think nothing of it. Oh yes, please take the sword. Your sword of light attracts too much attention. 
When you get tired, feel free to use the upstairs bedroom and take your take your rest. Oh, thank you very much. Ooh, long sword acquired. Thank you. Take care when you go. That's the equipment wizard. <laughs> Have you found anything out yet? We just talked like a second ago. <laughs> I didn't even move for that spot. I didn't even leave the house. So like, why would you ask me that? This guy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Claw, Rain is not here. Okay. I don't really care. I know she's she's still mad. <laughs> I know she's pissed. Oh well. Ain't my fault. What can I do about it, guys? Like, I'm not this hero, this warrior. Oh, uh, mister. Oh my god, my business. I just want to leave. <laughs> what is it? If you leave the village, you should stay close to the road. They say the forests are, are dangerous. Thank you. I'll be careful. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at this. This is what I've been waiting to show you guys. Man, look at the real map. Another thing you don't really see often in, in um, JRPGs anymore. Like, now things are super linear where, you know, you don't even have a town. I mean, you don't have a real map or overall, they call it. Um, you don't have like, what's it, there's like not much exploring you can do, you don't get a ship or a boat or whatever like that. All the stuff is non-existent in a lot of these games nowadays. Like this super linear where they have a little map, you just click on the town and it brings you there. Like, <laughs> like come on, I hate that. Like, one game that I can think of right off the bat that does is like that, like the Persona series. Like, they're okay games, but to me they're very linear. Like, I still don't know why they're so popular, honestly, but they're very linear games. Like. There's no like really no exploration in those games. You just you go to like you only stay in like one town where it's at your headquarters or whatever like that. Then you go in the dungeon, want the the same dungeon over and over. Just more floors are added later on. It's like you know I guess to me it's tedious. Like <laughs> I'm not uh, probably I can't I can't really get into the series, but for some reason it's really popular. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's super linear for me. You stay right here. I'm already out with <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong button, there we go. Hey, look at this, guys. This is beautiful. I <laughs> love it. Is there any fight? Any random encounters or anything? Oh, there we go. The enemy! <laughs> the enemy! <laughs> Where is that it? Oh, damn. damn. Oh yeah, I forgot about stupid buttons. <laughs> Why are you not attacking? Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Oh, I can still use it. Oh, nice. Well, that's somewhere around 80 points. The control, um, <laughs> I had a stupid layout change. I almost died. Right, let's get out of here and get to the town. Right, so this is the town of Salva. <laughs> Change name. I haven't seen you around here before. Where are you? Where are you from? This is the mining town of Salva. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh? If you want to hear lots of stories, maybe you should try going to the bar. The machine? <laughs> Sorry, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> The weather is nice, so go outside and play. Is that like a kid to you? Hmm, <laughs> it feels nice. <laughs> oh, I guess by the window, okay. By the nice breeze or whatever it is. <laughs> feels good on him. A jam store, a dolphin kick. What kind of name was those that? Welcome, how about some really, really sweet jam? It's really delicious. Let's look at it. Strawberry jam, right? Oh, raspberry jam. Jam made of boiled down raspberries. Ooh. Yeah, make you be hungry. I feel like putting that right now in a sandwich. <laughs> on some bread and make a sandwich with it. Apple jam. Ooh. Jam made of boiled down apples. These look really good. Super tasty. You know, I'm gonna buy two. <laughs> Damn, I shouldn't even do that, but it just looks delicious. <laughs> just save that money. I'm gonna see what's going on in the bar and that's gonna be it for this part. Huh? If you want to hear lots of story. I mean, huh? If you want to hear lots of... Oh, yeah. We're very close to it, yeah. 
the end, the hoping, the hopping penguin. The room costs 10. No, I don't, I don't need that. Can sleep for free in the mayor's house. <laughs> Back in Alia. I don't know if this is what you're looking for, but I heard that a father and a daughter pair at the south end of the continent of the core is creating some odd device. If you happen to visit the continent of the core, why don't you drop by? Ooh, okay. That's interesting information. I gotta find out how to get there. It's a nice, nice town. I like it. Weapon shop, Ferguson's. <laughs> Heavy ring. Hello, sir. A man should have at least one weapon. We have quite a selection. What do you got? With shape, what? A bolt shaver? A pair of uh, short swords. So, um, yeah, short swords. <laughs> Truly made for battle use. Knuckles, uh, leather helm, leather armor, leather greaves. Uh, all right, let's get this. What are you, what are you selling? Our stock has been a, a bit depleted due to temporary closure of the mine. However, we still have quite a few um, high quality stones. Okay, got a necklace here, a golden necklace that, that just might protect us. Where, how, how does that protect you? <laughs> what does it protect? <laughs> Ruby earrings. A ruby studded earring that just might protect his wear. How does earrings protect you? <laughs> Silver barrette. It's a sim all right, same same shit. Iron ore can be refined to iron by reducing the iron oxide contained contained therein. Silver ore, gold ore, rose tip. Aqueous? What's this? Legendary herb said to heal all wounds. Possessing mysterious magical power can heal wounds to a degree. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. That was by accident. I meant to back out to the controls. Yeah, so some of those things like the iron and silver and all that stuff is what you use to um like when later on in the game when you can um what's it get the you get the the item creation feature then you can um use that and everything. This is a mining town. The owner of the mine, Mr. Barnes, <laughs> also serves as the as the mayor. The North South. Lots of strange things are happening throughout the road. Do you think scary things are happening in Salva too? Maybe. The Salva drift has been closed due to a cave in caused by the earthquake. What's this? Oh, the bar. I mean, the tavern. What well, bar, too? <laughs> Rough and tumble. A young man wrote about talent. <laughs> Do you have talent? You ought to check this on the status screen. I guess it's like trying to fix food for those with no taste. Oh, uh, yeah, I was already talking about that earlier. I showed you guys that. Exhausted Eduardo. <laughs> Ooh, did you know? They say that the mine <laughs> was closed because of a cave-in. The truth is different. <laughs> Really, Alan? Who? What? Where, where was I? <laughs> Man, this dude, that dude is drunk. What about you? We gotta say. I don't know why. A minor. Or he, he seems more... He, he's, he's good. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's more sober. I don't I don't know why. By the, I mean, I don't know why. But the riffraff is, is collecting at the house of the mayor. It seems that the son of the mayor has hired them. This has nothing to do with me. I came from Linga <laughs> to work here. But sorry, but I've never seen anything like that in Linga either. Oh, you're talking about what I'm... Why don't you just make it... Like me ask the question first. Because I'm like, what are you, talk what are you talking about? <laughs> Welcome, you're looking sort of glum. <laughs> glum. I came from the town of Cross to this little backwater settlement. I hear that all is even smaller. Damn, all right? You're pretty strange looking. I've never seen clothes like that before. A, carp a carpenter from Ollie is working on the house of the mayor. They say that he's remodeling, but outside the appearance has a change. I wonder what exactly they are remodeling. Oh, that's the dude I left his two kids in Ollie for two weeks. <laughs> Salva Drift. The Salva Drift is currently closed due to a cave in. You may not enter. May not enter. Man, I lo just love how this game looks, man. This is so nice. Look at this. Got the barrels over there, the shovel on the side, the mine cart. <laughs> got the lamps over there flickering. Yeah, it looks so good, guys. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Love it. <laughs> My favorite games, man. Alan's Mansion. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this is Mr. Mr. Alan. The Lord of the Mansion is away on a journey. While the Lord is gone, Master Alan is in charge of the mine. But he is too busy to see anyone. Please leave. I'll leave when I, when I feel like it. I want to check around. That's yeah, a big kitchen. I mean, well... Dining, I mean, yeah, dining room slash kitchen. Yeah, yeah, the kitchen's over there. 
Master Adam. Master Adam's been acting odd lately. He has been he has been holed up in the study all day. And he's he isn't eating at all. I hope he doesn't harm his health. Okay. I'm gonna find out what's going on with him. We got the pot over here. Um yeah, pot over here and it's like a frying pan. <laughs> it's a big mansion, man. Like a study hall, I'm guessing. Are we in the book? Nope. It looks nice, man. Like, I just love this guy. Let's just look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep mentioning it over, but this is really nice, man. I love how this game looks. The stone that Master Allen acquired recently is very pretty. I'm jealous. <laughs> I like to have such a stone. Okay. This is nice. I like that with the, that th statue holding the axe. It's like a dog almost. Got the clock over here, the fireplace. Got another one over here. Yeah, this is nice. Love it. <laughs> nice room you got here. Oh, what's this? A portrait be acquired. Let's go look at that real quick. Man, this is a big place. This is a nice room. I like this one. <laughs> this one looks really nice. Look how I just got real quick. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I like that. Forgot about that feature. You can actually collect these portraits and stuff like that. You can also create them too. And everything. <clears throat> oh, and you go to... Oh, okay. Oh, I like this. <laughs> that's nice. Okay. That was a nice portrait there. It's no good. This really is an undeveloped planet. There is no clue anywhere. I still get no response from the communicator. There's no use. Maybe I'll go back to Alia. All right. Can I go this way first? Let's see if I can go this way. I think I'll go back to Alia first. Even anything different happened in there. <laughs> but yeah, so this is gonna be it, guys. I'm gonna stop here because <laughs> this is gonna be long enough. Now, I'm, so I'm just gonna save here, and um, it's gonna be it for this part. Well, for now, like I said, I'll come back to this when I actually get the game on, in my possession and everything. I'd rather play it that way than play on the later. But yeah, so I'm gonna turn this way. <laughs> So this way to end it. Actually, no, it's good. Yeah, so pretty much it, guys. Saw Ocean, the second story on the PS1. Really good game and everything. And um, yeah, like so, I'm, I'm just so happy. You know, so happy to have been, you know, having to play this over again because it's been a while and everything like that. And I've been meaning to want to like talk about this game. Maybe one day, um, like I said, I might do it as a, a let's play, a full let's play, or maybe um. Like a full playthrough, or maybe, or maybe just a review. I'll see which one I'll, um, I'll probably do with some down, you know, down the line and whatever like that. But I'm just, I'm just, you know, just happy to have played this over, excited for it, and everything like that. And um, one day I'll do first departure as well, all that good stuff. But yeah, so nothing has changed from what I remember. Still enjoying the game, still good, love it, and everything like that. And um, yeah, <laughs> one of my favorite JRPGs of all time on the PS1. One of my favorites, like Final Fantasy Seven, this one. Breath of Fire 3 and 4 was good too. And um uh yeah, I'll say that was like in my top three. Oh, it's the coding. It's the coding um what's it two. My favorite on the PS1 and everything like that. But there's plenty of JLPGs. Even ones I've never played at all that I definitely would love to check out is on the channel one day. But yeah, but so many good ones and everything. And also Alondra, what I have played on the channel and everything a couple of months back. Um, even though I mean yeah, you can say it's like an RPG in a way too. <laughs> But yeah, you can say that. It's like a mixture of that slash Zelda, you know, and everything. So yeah, so, you know, uh, like the PS1, like I said, is oh my god, it was just so good, man. It's such a great console. It was like, oh, like, yeah, the PS2 definitely was like the golden era of gaming and stuff. But the PS1, man, it was just something about these games that just really has a place in my heart. Just the way the games look and everything is just really well done and everything like that. So yeah, um, is it too loud? All right, that's why they just, if it's not too loud. But yeah, so um, I love the music, man. The music sounds so good on the raw map and everything. Let's listen to it, guys. Like, love it. 
kind of reminds me of like how the instruments was played like how the instruments are playing now like this like let's, let's listen real quick like with those instruments it kind of sounds like the instruments like in the world map of Final Fantasy 7 in a way like kind of similar in a way if you, if you when you listen you kind of hear it in a way like when you're on you're like right here it sounds like the Final Fantasy 7 um world map theme in a way <laughs> so like that you know so it has this comparison to 7 and with some things and everything like that the art style is kind of similar to 7 as well and everything but yeah so um, that's pretty much it with this um hope you guys enjoyed this and everything like that you know let me know in the comment section below you know all that good stuff and um yeah and like i have to say again like <laughs> thank you guys man like thank you for all so far you know and um you know appreciate everything you know um i'm really happy to have you know like really happy to have these, these like do these videos for you guys this type of content you guys have been enjoying it and everything like that you know with the many new subscribers and stuff like that i've been getting so I love that you guys like what I'm doing, everything like that. You know, my passion for these games and everything, especially when it comes to the specifically retro and everything. And I remember there was one person who told me a while back, um, well, one of my old friends, former friends, he always told me like, oh, like, why I was doing play, I mean, do videos on these old games. I need to do on like modern games or whatever. And look at that, old games I'm doing and I'm tons of views. PS3 is like an old console. Look at that, tons of views I'm getting and stuff like that. So I was really, I'm really happy to know that there's still a lot of people out there that still love retro games you know that still love the ps3 and everything because like i said before i feel like the ps3 is an underrated console a lot of people really didn't talk much about it or liked it that much but i love it you know i love it so yeah and um oh yeah and i'm currently by the way i've been playing fallout new vegas i've been playing that over on the ps3 and oh my god i've been hooked to that game guys i've been hooked hooked when i tell you i've been hooked i've been hooked it reminds me of back then when i had a 360 when i used to come home from school and I'll just play that game, especially on the weekends. Play it from morning, next thing you know, it's night. That's how I've been playing Fallout New Vegas, man. Like, I've been hooked to that game. This is so good. Like, I'm so happy to have, you know, to be playing over and everything like that. It's really good, man. Really good. And at least I got the one that had the DLC, so I could finally play them, because I never played them back then. But yeah, I've been really hooked. I might play some of that, actually, after this. <laughs> I've been hooked to that game, man. I'm like, oh, <laughs> obsessed with it right now. It's really good, man. Really good. But yeah, so that's about it. So like I said before, yep, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, have you guys ever played Star Wars in the second story? What do you guys think of the remake compared to this one? All that good stuff, just let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like, comment, subscribe. I definitely appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you guys next time for another one. Take care.